Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, of course, the weekend weather was so nice, we just had to extend it through Monday. And even the next couple of days look pretty good. Next chance of any showers, even thunderstorms, not until Thursday. In the meantime, it's clear, dry, quiet. Looking at uh, Newport Harbor right now, temps in the, uh, well, the lower 60s, low to mid 60s. We don't see any clouds or fog yet, but during the overnight into towards daybreak, we'll see a little bit, especially along the coastline. Now, this doesn't set the tone for what tomorrow will be. In fact, this uh, whatever it does form overnight, it's going to burn off rapidly. Take a look back at the high temps today. That is certainly summer like 80, 85 degrees. I mean, the average high is 73, so we were 10 degrees above that. We're closer to seasonable averages for tomorrow, meaning about 73, 74. Overall, Tuesday is a nice day. We've gone from 83 in Providence now to 63. Most areas are in the lower 60s. 60 Narragansett, Newport's cooler at 58, New Bedford 61, and Taunton coming in at 59. It's some offshore, some low clouds and fog will tend to back in off the ocean overnight into early tomorrow morning, especially along the coastline. But our threat tracker overnight through Tuesday and Wednesday, this is just kind of a quick graphical look to kind of emphasize the fact that there's nothing really stormy or high impact on the way in terms of weather. So looking pretty good. Late night clouds and a little bit of fog overnight, but we are dry the next few days with showers. I would use the word likely at this point based on information we've been analyzing uh, some showers, even some a few thunderstorms and some downpours for Thursday. So we're relatively quiet across New England. There's what we call a backdoor cold front coming through right now. All it is is just shifting the wind right now east and northeast, and that's one reason why should be a little cooler for tomorrow. Showers and storms across the Great Lakes and the uh, deep south, but we remain uh, quiet across the eastern third of the country, and it should stay that way over the next few days. High temps tomorrow, not 83, but more like, you know, like 73 to 75, a little uh, warmer to the north. Uh, the south shore, cooler than where we were today, but still very nice beach day. We're thinking upper 60s to lower 70s, but on average, it's about 73 to 75 uh, for the afternoon high temperature. So early tomorrow morning, 5, 6 a.m., some low clouds and fog, especially along the coastline. Now, the sun, I mean, these are the strongest rays of the uh, sun rays all year round. So this is going to burn off rapidly. It's strong sunshine, obviously, this time of year. So by 11 a.m., near 70 with sunny skies and looking good uh, during the afternoon hours. Lots of sunshine, temperatures topping out in the uh, mid 70s. Bay forecast, actually the beaches, early morning clouds and fog. I would say once we get, say, beyond 9 o'clock in the morning, the sun's out and it's out for the rest of the day at the shoreline. Air temperature, though, cooler than today, but still nice in the upper 60s. Bay forecast, for the most part, your visibility is on limited, perhaps just reduced on either side of sunrise. The wind east turning southeast at 5 to 10 knots. All right, seven day forecast looking good over the next uh, couple of days. Uh, Wednesday, a mix of clouds and sunshine and then scattered showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. The game plan for Friday, Saturday and Sunday is to use the word passing. So there'll be many hours of dry weather all three of those days. That includes the weekend, but can't rule out a passing shower each of those days. Seasonable temperatures where we should be in the uh, mid 70s. Pretty nice for tomorrow, just not as warm. It was delicious today. Oh, you like the weather delicious. menu? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> All right, Tony, thanks.